What's going on guys, welcome back to the next Gen Man 15 video on my PS4. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button for me, subscribe if you aren't already. Criticism in the comment section, as always, I ask you to follow me on Twitter, my username, Shutdown Safety. taking a look at online gameplay, myself, BB Resurrect, Rod Streeter, Touchdown. I want to talk about zone defenses, particularly in the end zone, where we've seen struggles continually throughout this game, and this play is no exception. First and foremost, Rod Streeter over here in the red zone. You've got to jam a receiver. There's no excuse to sit here and play off coverage tonight and put a hand on him. You can see there the defensive back gets way behind. He's already trailing by at least a yard by the time Streeter gets to the end zone. And we come up here, we take a look at Winston Guy. And Winston Guy, I don't understand what exactly the thought process is here. If he's reading the quarterback, that's okay, but you also have to pay attention to what's going on in front of you, and you can't stand still in the end zone, and this is allowing Streeter to just cut right across the field. And, of course, if you look in the background, the reaction only occurs after the ball is thrown. You know, other than that, he's actually standing here taking himself out of position to play not only the tight end up in front, but also this receiver over in the corner of the end zone. I mean, there's really no excuse for AI playing like this unless... He does not realize that he's in the end zone, which, you know, may be highly likely. On the other side of this, Jonathan Cyprian, pretty good safety. You know, he really has no offensive threat on this side of the field other than the tight end that's releasing, and he's being covered by the linebacker in front of him. So he actually looks like he's so obsessed with this that he stands still, again, a little bit until the ball is thrown, and then he goes into this animation. I just want to show you from the top here where all his momentum running over gets stopped. If you notice right here, it, all his all his momentum that he could run over is stopped, so that he can shift forward into this attempted pass deflection, which looks great with the game at speed. But when you go back and look at the replay, and you see that this whole backwards shifting forward slide surge actually is what prevents him from making contact with the ball. If he would have just maintained his momentum, he would have just been fine. And of course, we all know by now the end result is Streeter catching the touchdown. But to me. A little bit too much going on there. Not enough out of one safety, too much out of the other, but certainly makes for a very sloppy looking play and really a gift wrap touchdown. Love to know your guys' opinions on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I'll be back in the week with more content.